Today on the Patrick Riggins Show on video, what I want to talk about is government power. What kind of power does the government have? What kind of power should the government have in our country, in America? Right now, the way this, our country started, is we were in the old country, England. And in England, you had a king. And the king had a lot to do. Hey, he's got a lot he's doing. He doesn't have time to keep up with everybody. So he has a court, which you could call a government, kind of a bureaucracy. And they help administrate the king's affairs over the people. That's how this works. Well, what makes him king? What, how did he get to be king? Usually it's a conqueror. They've conquered these people they've conquered the people of these lands whoever was over these people they've conquered them and now they're in charge that makes the king the sovereign power in this situation in this scenario in the country sovereign power the king government and the people people being at the bottom because this is the king and these are his administrators and then here's the people well what we did was we came to the new world. So we have the new world here, which is America. And we have the people over here now. So we have people that were here and now they came over here. Well, this still applies over here. So you have the king and the government are still over the people. Just because they're not in England, they're in the New World, the colonies, well, the king is still over these people. Well, we got kind of tired of being ruled over by a king. So a lot of people got together and decided we're going to have a revolutionary war and kick this king out of here and we're not going to live under a king. So fortunately for us, we won this war and... We severed this tie. So, how did we get in control now? Who's in control? Because before it was the king, the government, the people. Now we've cut this tie. Well, we're now the conqueror. The people are the conquerors here. Because we conquered the king. We conquered this king. That makes us the conquerors. It makes us sovereign now. We're the sovereign power, the people here, because they have defeated the king. That's why in the Constitution it reads, we the people, because we're the sovereign power. When the king would issue these uh, royal proclamations, they would say His Majesty, King George III, or whatever, in these big ornate letters, and then decrees this and that and whatever. Well, that's why the founders wrote the Constitution and said, we the people, in these big letters, these big ornate letters, to let everyone know that now we're sovereign. So what's this mean? Well, it means if you're a person and you have another person and maybe another person, what is the dynamic here? What's the relationship? They're all equal. All of these people are equal. This is what the uh, Declaration of Independence states. All men are created equal. All of these people are equal now. So what did we do in this country of ours? Well, we did kind of the same thing the king did. We decided to create a government. So we created this government. Now, how did we do this? Well, this is what we did. We had the people... And then we created a constitution, and that, in turn, created the government. Yeah, we had the Articles of Confederation and some other stuff, but we're kind of just making this easy here. So we have the people, the constitution, and the government. So the people created the constitution. Constitution created the government. And so this is how the power works in our country. As you can see, this is the government on the bottom, Constitution people. 
So in questions of authority, you have the government at the bottom because the government can't be over the Constitution because the Constitution created the government. And the created right down here can't be over the creator. So the people created the Constitution. So the Constitution's not higher than the people. The people are higher than the Constitution. Creator created this. In turn, creator created this. So the created cannot be above the creator. Same thing. Creator cannot be, ab or created cannot be above the creator. This is how power is supposed to work in our country. Now, again, this is how we are. Person equals person is person. All men are created equal. We don't have any more authority over anyone else than we have, than they have over us. So in this way, we cannot give government authority that we ourselves do not have. So if I don't have the authority, because I'm equal, I can't make this person do something because uh, that they don't want to do. Because uh, this is how we are. We don't aggr have aggression towards each other. I can pull a gun and make them do it. That doesn't make that right. But in reality, this is how we are. Everyone's equal. So I can't make this person do something. This person can't make this person do anything if they don't want to do. Uh, we don't infringe on each other's rights. So if I can't do that, I can't give government the power to infringe on these people's rights because I don't have the power. And this person doesn't have the power. That's how that works. So right now, today, we have in our country governments at all levels, federal, state, and local, that are infringing and trampling on our constitutional rights. How can they get away with this? Well, it's the same way all of this worked. Only by becoming a conqueror can you become sovereign over people. This is what we did. We wanted to rule ourselves. So we defeated the king and his associated people, the red coats and all of this, and now we were conquerors, and that makes us sovereign. So, how can government make us do things that we ourselves can't make each other do? Only by becoming a sovereign. Only by conquering people. So, if the government is getting away with doing things that we can't do to each other, then the government has conquered our country. It has conquered our people, and now it is sovereign. Because it, if you're sovereign, you can do what you please. So it doesn't answer to the people anymore because it's conquered them. And this is the problem. This is the reality in our country today. Our country has been conquered by our government and who now considers itself sovereign over the people. And how do we know this? Because... As we saw here, if, the, if we're all equal, then I can't, for instance, take money from this person and give it to this person. I can't tell this person, hey, give me $10, and I'm going to give part of it to this person to help them buy food or whatever it is. doesn't matter what they're doing with it. I can't forcibly make this person give this person money or give it to me and I give it to them. That's theft, no matter how you look at it. So if I can't do that, well, morally, you know, physically I can. I can pull a gun and tell this person, give me the money, and they'll give it to me. And then if I take that money and give half of it to this person, they spend it on food and I keep the other half, I can still be arrested for robbery. In fact, I probably will. But I can't, so if I can't do that, I can't give the government permission to do that because that's still going to be robbery either way you go. And again, these are very important concepts you need to think about in our country and what is going on right now and why it's very important that we as the citizens, as the conquerors, as the sovereigns in our country, take back our sovereignty, sovereignty and get back in control.
All right, if you have any questions on that, just email me at patrickrigginshow at gmail.com. You can also hit our website, freemycountry.com, and you can leave any comments listed down below. You can also click on subscribe, and you'll be subscribed to our channel. And if you hit that little bell down there, then you'll be notified when new videos are posted. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And remember, liberty begins with you in your mind. Also, taxation is theft.